So think twice before downloading the Android 14 Beta 3 for your device. I know I made a video yesterday saying that I was going to download it personally and possibly my wife's phone. We were going to test it out and uh, I was going to let y'all know how it went. Well, um, I didn't download it and I did not install it because there is a major flaw that is very imperative. Um, I mean, look, you can get around it um, if you if you ha absolutely have to. There's been a large, I just I was just about to hit the download button, and my wife was saying, "Hey, have you seen those reports that people are saying their fingerprint scanner is gone after doing downloading the 14 uh, beta 3 uh, software?" I was like, "What?" And no, I didn't I didn't know that. Um, and, she, and we were digging more into it, and there is a ton of it. Not just that, not just the fingerprint scanner. But the share option, so let's say it is missing. So let's say you take a picture of your daughter in the backyard and you want to send it to your wife, right? So you take a picture and then, uh, and then um, you hit the, the uh, circle where, you're, where the picture is saved in the camera app or in any app really. And you hit the picture and you hit the V button to share and the the buttons there but the actually but the actual share button that you push to whether it's for um messaging email what have you it's just gone it's just straight up missing now it's not on every single device but it's on a lot of people's devices there's a reddit thread um i believe it was reddit she was showing me i mean there were tons of people that saying that they were either saying their share button is gone for photos and documents and stuff like that or um their and or their finger their fingerprint scanner is missing so which is a big cause of uh concern uh give me one second i'll be right back yeah so i apologize about that so that is a big cause of concern if you do not have if you can't access your device with a fingerprint scanner because like me, a lot uh, I'm sure as of uh, uh, as your devices uh, like mine, a lot of my a lot of my um, banking apps are or my bank app, my uh, uh, Chase app is fingerprint enabled, as well as a ton of other very sensitive pieces of information. Where look, I could go find the password, and yes, I have um, the Google Password Keeper on there, so it'll probably will give you your password if you don't have your fingerprint scanner you can uh, open your lock screen by either face unlock or your pattern or pin or if you have a banking app it'll google should should refer you um should recommend your passcode and you can just select it and then it'll automatically put it in there however it is a big inconvenience because i do use my fingerprint scanner every day uh, there's not a day that goes by that i don't use it honestly uh, so that's missing for a lot of people and like I said the share buttons missing I probably use my fingerprint scanner more than the share eh, I don't know it's about the same definitely use them at least a few times a day um, I don't know what the percentages are there's you know if it it is my second phone but I do still use it on a daily basis um, I don't know what the, what the percentages are of people that are having issues now if you can hold out if you can hold out for one more month, for 30 days, they're, next month they're releasing the final beta for Android 14 in uh, July. And then the following month, in two months, they're gonna release the stable final, or not even final, the initial build, the public build, it'll be available to all Pixel owners, Android 14 in August. So if you can hold out for one more month, I. I, I can't guarantee you, but almost guarantee you that next month's final beta build, build four, uh, Android 14 beta four, is the last build that they're gonna release of Android 14 before they roll out the public build, right? I guarantee you in next month's uh, uh, beta four, they should have the fingerprint scanner ironed out, they should have the share button ironed out, and you know, 
There was a couple of, of, of other uh, things, but those two main important ones were giving a lot of people issues. So I decided, you know what? I do my, use my phone and use those things a lot on here. It's not that big of a deal. I'm really happy with this battery life. I don't want to go and mess my phone up right now because I don't have time to to reinstall Android. Thir you know, I don't have time to do all that other stuff at the moment. So, um, so if you can hold out, just wait one more month. If you were uh, 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 wanting to install Android 14 Beta 3, uh, I know I made it sound like yesterday it was all good, but look, that's you dig into stuff and did more homework and you know it's up to you if you want to do it go ahead be my guest but just for me personally i can't run the risk of not having a fingerprint scanner like it's not even there not even the little fingerprint engraved uh, uh, finger uh, uh, print on your screen it's just gone and same thing with the share button oh and they said it's, it's gone in the settings as well so if you go into your phone and try to re-register a fingerprint it's not there at all which is really weird but it's a beta so that's what you got to, uh, uh, you know, you run the risk of that when you install the beta. But Android 13 beta, QPR3 is awesome. I would definitely, I don't know if that's still available for users. It may be so close to 14 that they're not re enrolling anymore Android 13 beta users, but it's freaking awesome. The one I'm on, uh, Android 13 uh, QPR3. Uh, so, they have, Google has released the June security patch for a couple devices, not all the devices, but I do know for the, let's see if it was this phone, don't think it was this phone, they have released, I know it's for the Pixel Fold, uh, hang on one second, I, I do apologize, June... security patch slide over the, to, to news so Samsung has rolled out a security patch June security patch for their devices not all but for uh, some uh, some models of their devices uh, the watch June security patch is, is available for pixel watch users and they literally, I can't even find the news story now, but uh, it looked like Google was rolling out uh, the secure June security patch for a few devices, uh, mainly the Fold and uh, I think the 7A or the 6 Plus. I can't remember, but when you do view this video, it should be it should be out I guarantee you by tomorrow Friday it should be full on everything will get updated or at least the update will be available for pixel users so when you watch this just go ahead and check your phone see if there's an update should be there pretty soon uh, if not there already and um, I think that's about it there was some in the June security patch update with with the um, uh, feature drop there were some cool things that they added in there like find my device uh, got updated uh, Google Authenticator got updated but I know that got updated like last week but there's some framework that got updated and then you get all those feature drops that you can uh, if you're interested in what the feature drops are this month for Pixel go back uh, two or three videos of mine into the library and I have a whole video on uh, all the feature drop um, uh, settings and cool things that's going to be released with this uh, uh, June security patch so you can dive into that but um, uh, at the moment that's all I got but um, I've been on the computer most all day and really haven't been looking at Android news so I do apologize I did release a video on um, earlier today on the Netflix password sharing hack yes